question number 151. A coelomate organism, despite presence of mesoderm, belongs to which of the following phylum? And the options are Platyhelminthes, Nidaria, Annelida and Echinodermata. And the correct answer to this question is option number 1, that is Platyhelminthes. Platyhelminthes. are acelomate, triploblastic organisms. They have all three germ layers, so they are known as triploblastic, but they are devoid of true coelomes, so they are acelomates. Let us discuss other options also. The next option given is Nidaria, and this is an incorrect option because Nidaria are diploblastic organisms. The next option is Annelida, and this is also an incorrect option because the organisms belonging to the phylum Annelida are triploblastic true coelomates. And the last option given is Echinodermata, and this is also an incorrect option because the group of animals belong to the phylum Echinodermata are triploblastic coelomates. So, the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let us discuss our next question. Question number 152. A multicellular organism which uses cilia for locomotion is and the options are Cycon, Paramecium, Pleurobrachia and Physalia. And the correct answer to this question is option number 3 that is Pleurobrachia. Pleurobrachia belongs to the phylum Tenophora. And they are characterized by the presence of eight meridinal ciliary complates which helps in locomotion. And so they are also known as com jelly. Let's discuss other options also. The very first option given is Cycon and this is an incorrect option. Cycon belongs to the phylum Porifera, is a sponge and these are sessile organisms. The next option is Paramecium and this is an incorrect option because it is a unicellular organism. Whereas the other three options that is Cycon, Pleurobrachia and Physalia are multicellular organisms. The last option is Physalia and this is an incorrect option because Physalia which is commonly known as Portuguese men of war lacks cilia for locomotion. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 153. The figure shows four animals A, B, C and T. Select the correct answer with respect to a common characteristic in two of these animals. Figure A represents liver fluke. Figure B represents ophiura, which is an echinoderm. Figure C represents acedia, which belongs to the subphylum urochordata. And figure D represents petromycin, which belongs to the class cyclostomata. Now, let's discuss the options. The very first option given is A and C are true coelomate organisms. And this is an incorrect option because liver fluke, which belong to the phylum platyhelminths, is a A coelomate. It's an A coelomate triploblastic animal. Whereas C, acedia, is a true coelomate. The next option given is B and D are found in marine habitat and as it is a correct option, so this is a correct answer to our question because B which is Ophiora is an echinoderm and it is exclusively marine whereas option D that is Petromycin which is a cyclostome is also marine in habitat. The next option given is B and C show direct development and as it is an incorrect option, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because B which is an echinoderm exhibits indirect development and C, Ischidia also exhibits indirect development. So both these organisms have larval stages in their life cycle. The last option given is A and D are ectoparasites and this is an incorrect option so cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because Fasciola is an endoparasite and Petromycin is an ectoparasite on fishes. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 154. Air bladder is found in which of the following fishes? And the options are Trigon, Torpedo, Labio and Carcharodon. Trigon is commonly known as Stingray. Torpedo is commonly known as electric ray. Option number 3 labio is commonly known as rohu. It's a freshwater 
bony fish. Option number four, Carcharodon is commonly known as Great White Shark. And all these three fishes, that is Trigon, Torpedo and Carcharodon, these are cartilaginous fishes. And you know that a bladder is absent in cartilaginous fishes but present in bony fish. And the bony fish among the given option is option number three, that is Labio. So, Trigon is an incorrect option, Torpedo is an incorrect option and Carcharodon is also an incorrect option. And the correct answer is option number 3. Labio is a bony fish and it requires a, a bladder which regulates its buoyancy. So the correct answer is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 155. Select the correct match. And the very first match given is Cetacula ectotherm. And as it is an incorrect match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because Cetacula, which is commonly known as parrot, belongs to the class Aves. It's a bird. And it is endotherm and not an ectotherm. The next option is Pavo. And the match is open type circulation. And this is an incorrect match because Pavo, which is commonly known as Peacock, is a bird. It also belongs to the class Aves. And it has closed type of circulatory system. The next match given is Petromyzon and the match is spawning in sea water and this is an incorrect option because Petromyzon which belongs to the class Cyclostomata is a cyclostome, it's a marine fish and it exhibits anadromous migration. This Petromyzon though marine but it migrates to fresh water for spawning. It do not spawn in sea water. It is mixine or hagfish which spawn in sea water. The last match given is Pterophyllum and the match is presence of swim bladder. And as it is a correct match, so this is a correct answer to our question. Pterophyllum, which is commonly known as angelfish, is a bony fish. And bony fish characteristically have a bladder or swim bladder, which regulates buoyancy in them. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question. 